Dr. Carlo Idika Carlo, former Minister of Finance, Federal Republic of Nigeria, to give his chairman's opening remark. Introduction. Um, like my predecessors from the last uh, segment, let me thank all those who have made it possible for us to have this historic uh, two-part uh, deliberation regarding our institution, institution of ANESE as an organization of uh, NDIB. And also this part we are on today to discuss uh, the appropriate leadership. We're in a time of crisis. In my part of the country, they say, uh, when you are in such a crisis, there are, there's very little time for preambles. Um, want to thank all those who've contributed to setting this thing up, Chief uh, Emeka Uwoji and the others. I don't have to repeat all this. Uh, because it already has been said. I will just uh, briefly read my opening statement that now goes on to the, to the topic that we are going to discuss at length. And we have very able uh, members of our leadership, academia, from academia and everywhere, who are going to be commenting on various aspects of our topic today. Ndi Bodum. I salute you all, those who live and protect the Igbo health all over Igbo land, those of us who live in Nigeria outside Igbo land, for which Ndibo are so well known, in this our colonially devised uh, situation where we have fellow citizens that we did not choose and they did not choose us either. We should always bear that in mind. With all our many tongues, customs, religious beliefs, more than 300 ethnic nationalities. I also salute Ndi Ibuainile over the last decade and a half, particularly. They are all over the world, in America, in Asia, Latin America, in many parts of Africa, everywhere you go, Ndibo have always been uh, identified mostly for good. As in all nationalities, there will always be some bad eggs. But I think all in all, we are very proud of our uh, Igbo in diaspora. They have distinguished themselves. Some are in parliament, some are ministers, definitely. Uh, great businessmen, and so on and so forth. So when we are thinking about the Igbo nation as a future, uh, what constraints us cannot be the fact that we don't have the people, both at home and abroad, who can run a nation. I think we should make that very clear. Our God created the nations in his infinite will and wisdom. Not even the greatest civilization had anything whatsoever to do with their origin on earth by this simple fact. There is absolutely nothing sacrosanct about any particular agglomeration of clans or ethnic nationalities. You will not think so as we arrogate and interrogate issues of sovereignty. Real sovereignty is simply that conferred by our creator, by his willed attributes that set apart segments of his creation into different nationalities. Imperial history, political acts, and social cultural convenience have rounded entities into what distinct nations that exist today. The tone and conflict of our political and constitutional questions will be very different if we remember this ineluctable act of our natural origins all of us in this our nation. Let us focus more narrowly on the question of the day. Do we take cognizant of our origins and history? Have, have, we, have the legitimate platform and the leadership that can unequivocally speak for and provide leadership for Ndibo, given this historical 
antecedents. It is time we consider and let the issues be adequately laid to rest so we can proceed with the immediate task of defining the basic elements of the appropriate leadership of the Igbo nation. What institutional platform can rightly make these determinations for the Igbo nation? Nearly a decade ago, a, few, a new organ was deliberated upon and created alongside Ohaneze, the Alibo Development Foundation, the ADF. At various sessions, scholars retired and serving, public and private sector persons, men, women, and youths in Igbo land, and many from outside Igbo land, including diaspora, joined hands to set up the Ali Igbo Development Foundation to meet the dire need to focus on rebuilding the Igbo health in all its social, cultural, economic development manif manifestations while rebuilding and supporting Ohaneze as the apex political nonpartisan organ. I'm um, making this point very early in my presentation so we can focus on it as we look to the future. We at the juncture to revisit and reinvent in effect these two organs and delineate the appropriate liaison and leadership that these times demand for a confederal ethnic nationalities or other sovereign configuration. As free citizens, we agree that like our fellow ethnic nationalities, the decision rests within our inherent rights under any international law. Given this broad introductory outline, our task is set forth for discussion by an extremely distinguished panel. Given the constitutional, legislative, security, and attendant social economic stress that Nigeria has wallowed in almost all its 60 years of presumed post-colonial independent experience, what should be the nature of our national platform and the expectation of the leadership of Ndibo going forward? It is obvious that there is a clear urgency to these twin questions. The time for complacency and nostalgia is long gone. We must face up to our responsibilities without fear or holding back. All nationalities must face the same question of appropriate leadership if they are to meet the human needs of their various constituencies. I will just summarize as uh, Chief Emeka Ugoji has just outline for us. Given this structure that I've outlined in terms of our origins, in terms of the urgency of the moment, nothing should be outside our discussion. I have just put this down, not in any particular order of importance or necessity. Do we re-examine the name Ohaneze? We are talking about women and youth and the rest of it. Does it require us to change the name? Many people will say, obviously not. Do we need to redefine Ohaneze going forward so that the leadership focuses on, on purely the political? Perhaps we leave the uh, political, maybe the social, cultural, and leave the economic and other state security. The third, fourth, and fifth are the funding issues already mentioned and then some of the reasons why we might say we have failed, not with any reference to any particular individual or regime, but these are the issues that we'll be discussing. So once again, I want to thank the, the distinguished uh, panel that have agreed to show up, and this is the way it should be. Nibo no models. So when you hear me, I say, oh, I am a model, I Thank you very much. Ndewo, Ndewo, Ndewo Dr. Carlo Idika Carlo, the former Minister of Finance, Federal Republic of Nigeria. Okwe Gwaranyi Amaka, Ehaige Kuneabo, Onye Agwara Anugo, 
Biko aga onne kuna onwe nye ga se adero ihe obito adero ihe ipacha here uh the first thing i will say is um or the nongpa how we have discussed this matter oh we have na na kochase nature i know we're on it and the rest of it but there are certain things the context we are discussing this of course is the the general impression that we are at a crossroads so we didn't really put this in that proper perspective it's always difficult in a large group like this but I think uh, the issue of uh, the structure of Hanese, the issue of uh, the funding, clearly we can look at it in so many ways. So many suggestions will come under various ways of funding, whether we are looking at about financial sources from individuals or in the context of a budget, as has been mentioned, for general purposes of funding directed at specific projects. But I want to end with some indication of the things that should support us in my hope in the future. Oh, we may not talk about it, the incursion into Igbo land. Uh, the subject was referred to Haneze, but somehow we didn't get any results. This is one area that Ohaneze, security is what I'm talking about. Security for Alibo within the zone, within the various states. Ohaneze state by state, Ogawa to protect Alibo. We've talked about, about economic empowerment. So that's another issue. And then the administrative structure of Ohaneze going forward. Uh, these are these are major issues that we need. As somebody has suggested, small committee Ghana, a pankata deeply. There, there. May I debate the thing? Nimobi, of course, the issue of how to constitute Nimobi so that the Webata people from all over Igbo land, those outside Igbo land in other parts of Nigeria, as well as Nelmu, Wanai working and wine then our diaspora with the organizations. There was also the thought that we don't need to be creating Ohaneze branches abroad. Let's look at the strong structures anyway. They can come in as members of Ohaneze, but are we handling like Aiga at this level? So as chairman, I will say that this has been very, very successful. The issue of uh, the quality of the leadership, the issue of uh, maybe looking at uh, the, the times we are in rather than the mere issue of rotation to bring in uh, uh, new Ohaneze leadership, or even the issue of whether a caucus like Imobi can recommend, I say, can you acquire maybe one or two more years? We are not going to discuss that now, but we need to establish the fact that so it should not be uh, a, a, a reason that we don't have the people. It may just be to make sure that first and foremost, so I want to thank everybody. I want to thank those who organize this, and I think we can do more of this to give, um, to do it more, give people more chance. But as you said, since people are going to be submitting their their recommendations, there's no problem in limiting the time. So it's a good thing that. We Get so many people to present. And you, moderator, I have to thank you. I think you did a good job. And of course, uh, the, the um, Dr. Kechuku himself, how he has handled the whole thing. So, thank you so much. Thank you very much. Uh, thank you very much, sir. Imana na asna na nibo. Obu no bamba da basi egu boike. Imani ifa mutane egu agu gokon. Um, yabuchi eji gokon eji. Eke ne kan ne eke ne onyo agu na rura ruyoka. We no nye lain na mbeda. Ay we na bankata. Oka li gokono three hours. Ay no na bankata. Diku mune andi haiji na bankata abu. Kedu kogi isi dola ani ibomma. Kedu kanyi gisi me ohaneze. Kobuli hegane jera nyuzi, kobulu utuga bu.
Owe Hene Mani Opulu, Ony Gap, Opulu, or two Gap, Taku, Kulu, I am Maluna, Umalun, or two Kuany, Nazo. Wessican can no yob on an ask one naked neck and eke and your lahook and eme no lisia. No, I'm not.